So, Owen, you remember the Bible? Uh, yeah. I really like the way it was made. Make it so people can write their own stories and ideas for people to read. This sounds nice. What's the catch? I mean, everybody could write what they want. I think that's a pretty good catch. I suppose it could be. I mean, what could go wrong? Many years later. God, we have a major problem. You know how you gave people the power to write whatever they wanted? Yeah? They literally wrote everything they wanted. And how is that a problem? All right, I'll give you a back and forth of good and bad ones. First, we got a series about a kid going to a wizarding school, but really it's about dealing with the symbolisms of death. Oh, that sounds nice. Then we have a book series about a girl trying to choose between dating a vampire or a werewolf. Ooh. Then we have a book series about a group of boys being deserted on an island and realizing all the problems with society. Ooh, that's compelling. Then we have a book about kids taking a bet on how many worms they can eat during the summer. Oh, ew. Then we have books on philosophy and understanding the ways of life. Oh, see, that's a good one. And then we have books about people giving out war tactics on how to kill people faster. Oh, no. And then some people don't even write it in paper anymore. Some of it do it on computers. Is it any better? Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. God, it's worse. They write stories about the stories that have already been written, thinking they could fix any glaring issues that the other books had. Well, did they fix any? No! They just wrote what they wanted! Well, I don't see how that's a problem. Well, true, but the only issue that they're fixing is just the quote-unquote ships that they didn't get. It, did they want more actual boats in the thing? No, no, it's just slang that they use for when they want two people to hook up, like, intimately. <sighs> Whatever, I'm, I'm just gonna go fix it. I'll, I'll get some people that know how to give them criticism and make some work on writing this stuff. I'll be right back. Shipping. Oh, relationship. I got it. Take a part of that wall. Done. Now make it so people can see through it. Okay, it's clear. No, clearer. Okay, now you can barely see the wall, though. Even clearer. All right, you can't see the wall anymore. Now make doors out of it. But then how will you know if it's clo- oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, down on Earth... Oh god, my face! Oh, 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 oh god, my dick again! Ah, just trap that nasty lizard in an army helmet. How about a fat horse that always tries to sneak up on you in a pool? So, you want to be an old-timey burglar or a trash digger? Ah, too slow, you're both now. What if a dog bear fish... You mean a seal? Yeah, yeah, what if one of those fucked a saber-toothed tiger? How about you just take that pile of hay and give it legs? I'm gonna go on a smoke break. Yeah, give it eight super strong arms and hands. Uh, we're, we're out of bones. Eight weird floppy arms with suction cup things. I don't know. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. How about a tie-dyed chicken who screams actual words at you? Just like a hairy black potato with wings. Um, God? Also, it sleeps upside down like an idiot. <laughs> this is my best work. Yes, Karen, I am high, but it has nothing to do with it. This is perfect. Send it out. I right, give him a horse's head. Sure. Gills and tiny baby fins. <laughs> and males give birth. Whoa, dude, what the fuck? Gotta change it up somehow. Okay, how about, like, an alive backpack that jumps around? Just, like, put his surfboard mouth on a big pigeon and make it, like, a loud idiot. I don't know. Two words. Face scrotum. God, what the fuck? Put a beak on it! <sighs> and make it poop breakfast food! Yeah, <laughs> make it blind. Um, okay. Hey, <laughs> in deaf. Why? Hey, <laughs> just cause. Shrink a gorilla and make it smart. Okay, and what sound should it make? Literally just have it fucking scream, I don't care. I want a fat blue piece of shit with a 20-foot dick and it sings underwater. Also, give me a beer. No, wait! Five beers. Alright, what if I made a tiny land octopus that could walk on walls? Hey, hey, remember the tuxedo birds? Make them pace back and forth like a lawyer. <laughs> oh, so cute, but you can't handle it because prickly quills or whatever. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. Uh, make a sexy donkey. I don't know. Things aren't weird enough down there. 
Throw in the random bugs that we can't even figure out what purpose they serve. Oh! How about a big, nervous, wall-eyed rat? Okay, so, it's the cat dog with jaws of steel. Sweet. But it laughs... <laughs> it laughs... <laughs> like Fran Drescher. The fuck is wrong with you? Fran Drescher is a saint. I am a cool one. Who did that? Yeah, like a ferocious cushion, but it's always tired. Then why bother making it ferocious? Give it chlamydia. Shrink a horse, make it adorable, and stuff a tornado inside it. Seems dangerous. Do it! <sighs> uh, make it like really happy bocchini cheese that can swim. I said nose. Uh, I thought you said hose. Why would I say give that massive cow a hose? Ah, fuck it, send it out. All right, uh, black, white, stripes. No, I need a fancy one. Okay, uh, this one has socks. More? The, the tuxedo, done. Now send out the razor blade pets already. Okay, this one's got a long throat. Okay. Make it literally just a throat. Uh, oh, and give it a face. What the fuck? Call it a snake. Dude, this is the danger noodles again. Oh, shit, right, 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 right. Um, all right, uh, take this one and put maraca on its butt and then take this one and give it like a hundred legs. I don't know, we'll call it a bug. No, 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 centipede. There we go. Barlby, can you convince a ferret to fuck a possum? Oh, God. Hey, that cat turned out well. Uh, put a giant ass tutu around its neck and make it rip apart people. Only if it pisses them off, though. So, how about a gray, fat, hairless unicorn? People will like that, right? Alright, you're going out first. Uh, these are the arms I planned on putting on that tiny snake. Um, here, they're yours now. Alright, I'll be back in like six hours. Don't go anywhere. Hint, hint. All right, I'm back. Look alive, Owen. Ugh. How about a scary string bean? Look at that thing. It's fucking terrifying, right? That. Ah, never mind. I'll leave that one up to Satan. Sweet. Thanks, dude. Ah, I don't know. How about tiny demon maracas? They're gonna like that one, right? Put a giant drunk baby in a bear suit. Oh, and maybe combine with a cat. It's gotta have some sort of indifference. Sir, we have a ton of leftover pigs. Ah, uh, no, 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 just slap some limp dicks on their face. We'll call it the world's biggest rodent, too. It'll make it feel special. Well, uh, Owen, what are they doing down there? They're making milk from almonds. What? I gave them, like, eight animals to get milk from. They don't like that milk. They don't like that milk. <laughs> and now we have a koala wolf. Look at it. It's adorable. Okay, um... How about a punk-ass duck with pent-up teen angst? What are you doing? It's a cute little furry animal. Nice, so people can pet it. No, 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 see, it's got quills. How about a pancake shark, but with a huge tail, and, um, it stabs you. Humans will give it fun nicknames like Flap Flaps, it'll be fun to look at. Oh, and it might kill like a beloved icon, but don't, don't worry about that part just yet. All right. I'm done for the day. I'm gonna go take a nap now. Sir, what about the almond milk problem? Oh, oh, right, right, right. Um, make good amount of humans allergic to almonds. Yeah, that's my way of getting back for that bullshit. It's not like they'll make milk out of something else, right? Right? <laughs>